Hey everyone, Jamie here, and I feel like I've totally exhausted my entire winter wardrobe. But instead of having to go out and buy new threads, I feel like a few simple DIY touches are all you need in order to get your gear from drab to fab. Get ready as I show you how to add a monogram and elbow patches in order to make your own retro cardigan. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so in order to make a retro cardigan, the first thing you'll want to create is a statement monogram, and for that you're going to need super strong washable glue, chalk, and embellishments such as sequins and jewels. You'll also need a letter stencil, which you can buy or quickly make by printing one out on a piece of paper. I went with a classically cursive letter P because it also sort of looked like a cursive letter J, and together those are my initials, J, P. Jamie Petito. Either way, a good size for your monogram is a height of about three inches. All right, let's go for the retro, step one. The first step is to trace your stencil with your chalk. Follow with your chalk as neatly as possible to achieve crisp, visible lines. This will make for a much more professional finished result. Now you can immediately glue in your embellishments from here, but I recommend taking a moment and setting everything up first within your template. I'll be using rhinestones that I used both for my Peter Pan collar DIY as well as my bedazzled heels tutorial. Yeah, I literally could be dressed from head to toe in these rhinestones. Anyway, I placed my rhinestones within my stencil until it was filled up completely to my desired look. Step three. All right, it's time to glue in your embellishments. If you're using different sizes of jewels, I recommend placing in your biggest gem first and then putting all the little ones around it from there. Mine were all the same size, so I took a few rhinestones out at a time before gluing them right back into place. Once again, make sure to work slowly and carefully here in order to keep your embellishments with within your chalked lines. Let the glue dry completely and then carefully wipe away the chalk with a damp cloth and your monogram is all done. Pretty easy, right? Now, mine's a pretty uniform look, but like I said earlier, you can use as many different colors and sizes of gems as you like. Now, you don't just have to use gems in order to create your monogram. For instance, you could do something like needle felting, which is a technique that I showed you during my winter hat tutorial from a little while back. Or you could get creative with glitter or sequins or fun fabric or any other type of filler that you can imagine. It's totally up to you. To finish off your retro look, let's go ahead and add in elbow patches. Now, you could do this with the needle felting technique I just mentioned, or if you wanna follow along with me right now, you could also grab any fabric from suede to cotton, scissors, chalk, and a needle and thread or iron-on adhesive. If you're going that route, then surprise, surprise, you're also going to need an ironing board as well. The first step is to mark your fabric so that you know exactly where you're going to put your patch. With your cardigan on, bend at the elbow. Use your chalk to mark at the pointiest spot of your elbow. This will be the direct center of your patch's placement. Speaking of which, the next step is to create your patch. Now you can actually buy patches in stores or you can find a template online or you could just be like me and draw it out by hand. Either way, I recommend a width of three or so inches and a height between three to five inches. You can make it any shape you like from the traditional oval to a cute heart to a standout star. All that's left to do is attach the patch. Place down your patch in the center of your visual marking. Then follow the directions to attach your iron-on adhesive or use a stitch of your choice with your needle and thread to lock everything in place. And you're all done. I absolutely love how this cardigan turned out. And unless you want all of your hard work to go away by the force of a washing machine, I recommend that you hand wash your cardigan. That way all of your embellishments stay locked into place for a cardigan that not only looks good all winter, but for the rest of the year too. With a few glues here and there, you've now transformed your everyday cardigan into a retro one. Aren't these threads boss? You're like a hip cat that's made in the shade. Also, can we bring back 1950s phrases? Because sometimes, like, totally awesome just doesn't do it. How did you turn your cardigan retro? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at HeyJamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on Girl.com. Now, mine's a pretty uniform look, but like I said earlier, you can use as many different colors and sizes as just as gems if you like. You can use as 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 as